Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anilon Nepal. This is a video series of Fortran tutorial and today we will continue problem solving in a Fortran. So the very first problem to solve today is find the factorial of any number. Let's say 5. 5 factorial is uh, 1 multiply 2 multiply up to 5. Basically factorial of any number starts from 1 multiply by the incremented value by 1 unit. So like that we have to go up to that number. So this is the way. Uh, let's create a program and I will say factorial end program and I want to create a variable i and I want to create the variable fact to store the final factorial answer and uh, let's initialize the value I will say fact is now uh, while finding the summation we gave the initial value 0 but in the factorial we have to give initial value 1 because if we give 0 value any number multiplied with 0 gives 0 so we have to start from the 1 because 5 factorial see the factorial concept we have to start by 1 okay so fact and now i am going to create a loop and i will say i need a factorial of 5 so i will go from 1 to 5 and end do and what I will do is I will update that fact variable with multiplication by number because we have to multiply by subsequent incremented number okay and I want to print the answer okay and answer let's say I okay and uh, I need factorial sign so factorial I factorial is fact okay so if I run this, so one factorial is wait. What is happening? Oh, this fact is the variable, and I need that variable outside. So fact, okay. Okay. So uh, one factorial is one, two factorial is two, five factorial is one twenty. So in this way, we can get the factorial. And you can ask the user uh, to give this value to calculate the factorial like we did in the summation. Now let me show the same example using the do while loop. Uh, let's ask the user to give the maximum value also. So I will say yen. Okay. So which number and I will ask the I will ask the user to enter the value to get the factorial so i will say enter the value of n and i will read the value of that n variable from the user and i will go from do while and i want to give the condition if i is less or equals to that n if that n is 5 then 5 comes here so it's similar and do uh, and what we want is we want to update the fact with fact multiplication with the cycled number and I don't want to print I don't want to keep print inside the loop I just I want to print the final answer at last so print and I will say um, okay n uh, n n is the uh, variable so n and factorial is and I want your variable fact okay so let me run okay enter the value of n I want the factorial of 12 so oh maybe it's out of range maybe let's run again it's, let's say 5 what the hell is happening oh problem is this is the do while loop and this program is creating an infinite loop and I have to I have to increase the value of i by 1 also to stop the loop okay now hopefully this program works so 5 and more problem we forgot to initialize the value of i also because it does not know the starting point here we are saying to increase the value of i by one unit 
but what is the initial value of i i forgot to give that so i equals to 1 now this program will work guaranteed work so 5 factorial is 120 and let's say 12 12 factorial is da -da 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 -da. okay so this is the basic idea of any programming language so this way we can solve the problem and here is the next question to solve and uh, this question i got from the gre maths question so a b a multiply by a gives d c d and each letter represent a different digit so what is the correct multiplication now we need to provide the value of a b c and d so that this multiplication works correctly this is a three digit number multiply by one digit number gives the three digit number okay i will give couple of int here uh, this a b a is a three digit number so three digit number means this a value can be from one to nine a cannot be zero because if a is zero this will be no longer a three digit number but this b a and a can range from zero to nine and since a and a these two are the same number so basically a goes from 1 to 9 but b can go from 0 to 9 and here also d d is in front so d cannot be 0 here d goes from 1 to 9 but c can go from 0 to 9 and we have to give a different value to each digit because each letter represented different digits so keeping all those things in mind let's create a program i'll say mult in program implicit none and i want to create a variable integer a variable b variable c variable d and because i'm going to create a loop of a first a goes from one to nine and do of that a and uh, b but b can go from zero to nine so and do and a and b cannot be the same digit so i will say if a is equal to okay i am doing for the b b loop so if b is equal to a if b and a value become same then i, I want to exit no no i want to cycle because i don't want that same value i don't want to exit the loop okay uh, and I want to go in the I want to go loop I want to create a loop for C also okay uh, sorry what the hell is happening okay C is equals to 1 to C can go from 0 to 9 sorry 0 to 9 okay and and do and uh, C value should not be equal to any of the previous value so if c is equals to a or c is equals to b okay then i will say cycle so remember the concepts okay and still we need cycle for d also so do d is equals to d uh, 1 to 9 and do and i want to check if d is equals to a or oh sorry or d is equals to b or d is equals to c if that happens then we need to cycle okay so cycle and but i have to check whether that aba multiply by a really gives dcd or not so i need the aba so i will say aba means a multiply by 100 plus b multiply by 10 plus a and similarly we need for dcd also d multiply by 100 plus c multiply by 10 plus d 
and we have to create a variable for a b a and d c d now i will check whether that multiplication really works or not so i will say if d a sorry a b a multiply by d uh, multiply by a gives d c d then only we want to print print the answer and if what i want is print i will say i need to i need the answer of a b a i need the answer of a and i need the answer of d c d okay so let's run it mm, that okay okay so we got two answers uh, let me use one sorry mm, let's say i want to separate the two answers okay so we got two answers 232 multiply by 2 gives 463 and 323 multiply by 3 gives 969 so if you check that okay a a a, a. so 222 and here 333 they are matched and d and d they are same letter so we got 4 and 4 here 9 and 9 so see simple program can really solve those complex problem so this video ends here if you have any question write down in a comment section below and subscribe my channel for more videos we will continue for run tutorial in the next video mm -hmm.